course. That's wrong, isn't it? Was our experience of classics and now for something a bit more modern with cars like these VW Tiguan Toyota RAV4 manufacturers call them sports utility vehicles and experts are predicting that very soon over half of all vehicles sold will be SUVs thing is the manufacturers are not really selling these cars as cars which is just as well really because they're largely terrible no what they are selling you is a lifestyle you buy one of these, pretty soon you'll be doing windsurfing, hot air ballooning, paintballing, nudism, lots of other rugged, healthy, outdoorsy stuff. Yeah, the trouble is, SUVs, even small ones like these, can cost from around 25 grand. And that got our producers wondering, can you buy into the SUV lifestyle for less? A lot less. Well, to find out, they gave us each 250 quid. They told us to go and buy a sporty SUV 4x4 and then report with it to the Rutland Activity Centre for the young at heart. This is exactly the sort of place where SUV people spend their weekends and I was the first to arrive. Viewers, behold. The Mitsubishi Shogun Pinin, my passport to the sort of healthy, active lifestyle you would enjoy in a place like this on a day like today. There's a bit of rust, there are a few bumps, a few bruises, but that's as it should be because it's an action vehicle. Mine for just 15,000 pence. Then the Duke of Hammond arrived in a Jeep Cherokee. Good effort, your lordship. I'm impressed. Oh yeah, four litre straight six there. So basically this is an Aston Martin DB5. Well it isn't mate. I mean it's, it's got the same engine, but actually it's better in many ways. It's a monocoque, not a separate chassis, so it's more modern. And unlike an Aston, it's cheap. 25,000 pence. 25, you've spent the whole 25,000 pence? quid. You're mad. Well, hello, what have you got? This <laughs> yes. was built by Pininfarina. 